the Democratic Party of Guam. I'm very happy to be called upon to serve in this capacity. I've been a longtime Democrat and a passionate Democrat. So whatever I can do to help the party, I am available to do. And this was the time to step up. During the party's special Central Executive Committee meeting Thursday, Taggarty was a chairman position. According to party treasurer Carlos Pangalinan, the CEC is allowed to appoint a vice chair. Taggarty will now serve as the acting chair and has the authority to appoint a new executive director. I didn't walk into the meeting expecting to be um, considered uh, for this position, but halfway through the meeting I took the chairmanship. As we reported, former party chair Carl Gutierrez resigned last year after deciding to run for public auditor in which vice chair Gloria Nelson took over the top position until her passing last October. And just this past week, Carlo Branch resigned as the party's executive director. Taggarty will lead the party until its regular election in August and hopes to help recruit candidates for public office and present the party's message, something he says without strong leadership can get lost and obscure. And I'm very passionate about the message of the Democratic Party, which is that the government exists to do the bidding of the people. It is not for special interests. It is not for a strong economy. It is not for a strong military. It is for what the people need. And the people need a strong economy, and the people need a strong military. Taggarty is part of the CEC as a Tumuni representative and works as an operations and client relations manager with MCS LLC, a telecom consulting company. And although he once worked for former Republican Senator Jess Lujan, his allegiance has been to the Democrats, having worked with several powerful representatives in the community. I worked for Mr. Walpat later. I worked for Governor Verdari during his second term. I worked for Madeline. I worked for Bell Ariola. I worked for Robert Underwood. I worked for Frank Ogden Jr. Taggarty, meanwhile, says he is consulting with party members on the short list of candidates in mind for the executive director position and hopes to choose one next week. The Democratic Party, meanwhile, also chose a replacement for Chris Carrillo as a Democratic member on the Guam Election Commission. Carrillo was fired by Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz last week after he was arrested on drug charges. Aside from being terminated, he resigned from the GEC. Pangolinan says Alice Tyrone, a director of client relations and plan counseling with Great West Financial Guam, was chosen as a replacement. She previously served as a commissioner on the GEC. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.